Muy buenas a todos y bienvenidos a Narices Rotas, el lugar de encuentro para lo mejor y lo peor del boxeo. Terrence Crawford es el mejor boxeador del mundo, y aún si no están de acuerdo y ponen al monstruo y no hue por sobre él, es claro que el estadounidense le sigue de muy cerca. En este video veremos los 5 mejores combates del único doble campeón indiscutido en diferentes categorías desde el inicio de la era de los cuatro cinturones. Vamos al puesto número 5. Crawford vs. Indongo En 2017 Crawford no dejó dudas respecto a su superioridad de las 140 libras, cuando despachó a Julius Indongo en tres asaltos, para así proclamarse campeón indiscutido de peso super ligero. Cuatro. Crawford vs. Kabaliauskas En la tercera defensa de su cinturón mundial OMB de peso welter, Crawford tuvo un duro reto ante el agresivo púgile Gididius Kabaliauskas. No obstante, Terrence logró sacar la pelea adelante. And now, as a righty, Crawford comes in. There's a three-punch combination from the chip. Oh, and Kabayaskis comes back and lands a combination. So, and Crawford just nails him. Kabayaskis got to let that right hand go. As soon as Terrence Crawford gets close, he needs to throw a right hand, a looping right hand. He needs to throw a shot at Crawford to back him up off of him. He's Crawford. throwing, he just ain't backing him up. Crawford very comfortable standing right in front, punching between punches as Kaliaskis nice drives him straight back and ties up. And that'll get him through round number eight. Crawford took that last he, round off and... He's got a rhythm to him right yeah, now. Yeah, he's back. Oh, a lunging left hand. That backs up Kaviaskas, oh then an uppercut, an absolutely brilliant uppercut. Hey. Terrence Crawford made up his mind, and I'm going to stop you for hurting me, and I'm going to do whatever I have to do to, to get that done, whether I'm in a yeah. southpaw stance or the right-hand stance. And Kaviaskas felt every bit of Terrence Crawford tonight, and he realized that his levels to the game, and, and this dude has an intensity that's different than most. And here's the end of the fight. Terrence Crawford again attacking with that looping left hand. It was available for him earlier. And here it is again. Nice little uppercut coming around. Down goes Kaviaskis. Remember, he is one of the best closers in the business. Let's watch how he does it here. One punch, that's it. But Crawford, title defense. Got to get that last punch. Beautiful right hook right here. Yeah, that hurt. Right on the ear. That hurt. And down goes Kaviaskis. 
And that was the end of the fight right there. 3. Crawford vs Gamboa En 2014 se dio una de las peleas que acercó a Crawford al público casual. El oriundo de Omaha enfrentó al cubano Junior Kiss Gamboa en una pelea sensacional que no dejó a nadie indiferente. I don't know if there's a home fit, if, if there's necessarily going to be a hometown advantage, but there shouldn't be a hometown disadvantage, and uh, he'll get credit for everything he does at the very least. Well, here's Gamboa in the process of landing some shots. Now, oh, he's down. He dropped him, hit him with the right hand, then the left hand, and the knee went down. And it's my belief that he hurt Terrence Crawford at some stage in this ninth round. Defeated, obviously never knocked out. One of the most celebrated amateurs of his time. Dos. Crawford versus Porter. Para algunos esta fue la primera gran pelea de Crawford en peso welter. En 2021 enfrentó al difícil Sean Porter, el cual nunca logró descifrar el versátil estilo de su rival. Left hand to the body again, and again. Lead left hand from Crawford. Body work in that last round, and the short uppercut that we showed. There are the body punches. 28, and there is the knockdown scored in round 10 by the champ. Told you Sean Porter makes too many mistakes lunging forward like that. Oh. Boom, hit with an uppercut. Terrence stepped right to the side. Created an angle for himself. Avoided those punches. Step back. Double step back. There you go. And then the end of the fight. Looks good on his feet, but not coming forward and firing at Crawford for the moment. There's the overhand right. And another cut. Beautiful work by Crawford. Magnificent accuracy by the champ. He does damage. Kenny's on the apron and he's stopping the fight. His father says it's over. Terrence Crawford has just stopped Sean Porter. 
and watch this combination, Dre. Well, you see Crawford doing what he does best, finish. Oh. He got that right hook in there. Not a shot he really landed thus far up until this point. It's a heavy, heavy shot for any fighter to take, especially this late in the fight. Here we see a half step back. Boom, that's his signature shot that Terrence lands. He missed that, but he came back with the right hook, and it landed flush. Down goes Sean Porter, and I think Kenny Porter stopped the fight, not necessarily because of what happened, but what was to come. Terrence Crawford is the best finisher in the game, and he knew that it wasn't going to get any better for Sean Porter, especially if Sean wasn't himself and was dazed in the head and, and tried to keep off a guy like Terrence Crawford. Kenny was already up on the Uno. Crawford vs. Spence Obviamente este combate tenía que quedar en el primer lugar. En 2023, Terrence Crawford y Errol Spence unificaron la división de peso welter, en un combate que al menos en el papel, era muy parejo. La realidad acabó siendo completamente diferente. Spence kind of overreached there with that, and, and Crawford saw the opportunity. Beautiful combination there. I'm getting used to fighting against the lefty for the first. Right hand, the speed, the difference. From Crawford, the oh, opening, oh. the left hand, and the... It's been great. Yeah, no doubt the pressure there is from... The, the advice given to Spence... Oh, oh, oh. And meanwhile, the countering... Oh, oh. there's a left hand that... got to get inside, he can't reach... Oh, oh. my goodness, that si les gustó el video no duden en darle like y compartirlo Suscríbanse para las últimas noticias, opiniones y predicciones del deporte de los puños. Hasta la próxima.